beat my pony express. Four horses couldn't beat one horse anyway. They didn't put me out of Building fuzzy? Mm, I suppose so. If you think it'll do you any good. Thanks. Things look pretty bad for the future of the Pony Express. Can't you talk about something more pleasant? Oh, I wouldn't say that, Higgins. There's no use denying the truth. Well, why can't the Pony Express and the stagecoach combine and work together? Does Billy Carson agree to that? Not yet, but I'm sure he will after Sally explains it to him when the stagecoach gets in this afternoon. She's riding with it on the first trip. Uh, you'll never get him perched up on that monkey box. He likes to sit in the saddle too well. How's the road building coming along? Pretty good. We're about ready to start through the Badlands. Oh, then you've gotten your government permission. <laughs> yes, a couple of days ago. You know, this stagecoach line is going to mean a lot to the people out here on the frontier. It certainly will. Well, see you later. Hello, Stone. Higgins, you're wasting your time talking to Farrell. I know all he does and more. Have you had a report from your man in the capital? Yes. And all your legal maneuvering hasn't stopped Farrell from getting the rights to run his road through the Badlands. He told me so. And that means three things. All of them bad. What's that? First, the land will be open to the public. Second, the law will move in, break up an organization that we've been years building up. And third, the stagecoach company will be given grants of land along the route that is the most valuable of the territory. Right. That's the land I want and the land I'm going to have. Maybe we can still get it. There's no maybe about it. We're going to get it. I know of no law. That There's I... no law in the Badlands. Nothing but wanted men controlled by us. That's why I feel I can handle it my way. Without showing your hand? Yes. I'm going to let Steve Lacey handle it. And from now on, Farrell is going to run into nothing but trouble. Jeff. We'll likely get in ahead of schedule, Miss Sally. Oh, that's fine.
the seeds, will he? Sally will tell you, Mr. Farrell. I gotta get this mail through. Anybody, anytime, any place for you, Miss Sally, and so would Billy. Well, he's already proven that. <laughs> and I appreciate it, Billy. Lots more than I can say. Yeah, if our place has been reversed, you'd have done the same thing yourself, Mr. Farrell. You know, it ain't often you see rivals help each other out. Rivals? Well, sure. You're both in the same business. I know it's not. The Pony Express handles the mail, and the stage line handles freight and passengers. And eventually the mail. Isn't that so? Well, there's been some talk about it. Why, Dad, you never told me that. Well, it's not definite. But it's going to happen. And when it does, Carson and others like him are going to be out in the cold. That's why I want him to throw in with me. How about it, Billy? Uh, are you dickering for a mail contract, Mr. Farrell? We've made the government a proposition to carry the mail daily instead of weekly, as you're doing. <laughs> well, why can't I make them the same proposition? Well, of course you can. But it'll take a great number of horses and riders. I got the horses, and I think I can get the riders. You can't, I can. Well, it's possible. But I don't believe you can meet my bid. I can do my best. May the best man win, huh? Yeah. Come on, Fred. Come on, Sally. With Farrell and Carson both after that mail contract, we're sitting pretty. How? If we can get them fighting one another, that stage road will never be built. That's a good idea, but how can it be done? Very simple. I'll have Carson's horses run off. I'll make it look like Farrell did it. I'll see you later, Stone. Right. bunch of horses. Yeah. Hey, what about Jed here? Oh, I'll take care of him. I don't know why you dragged me up here, Lacey. But whatever it is, you can bet I ain't going to give you no help. That's what you think. Seems to be only two men watching the herd. They're down there. The rest of them are probably in town for the dance tonight. Remember, we want the horses, not the men. They must be left alive. I don't get it. They've got to bring word into Carson and Farrell's men run off his horses. And that's where you come in, my friend. Let's go. Hey, what's that movie 
over there. Looks like we've winged one of them. Come on. Yeah. Clark, what of Farrell's men? Can Tom Farrell be back of this raid? That's for Billy to decide. We're heading for town. Again, we're going to have a little song number by the big slicker quartet here. Now, play it, boys. Make it hot and good.
line of my cheeks always go to sleep. Oh, her limbs remind me of her baby. Glad to see you here, Curly. You can walk side by me some coffee. I'll only be a minute, Sally. All right, Curly. Here's where Carson gets to bed. It looks that way. Well, I got away with a herd, but we know who's responsible. Are you sure that Jed Clark was the man you found? No doubt about it. It's sure hard to believe that Farrell would pull a thing like that. Yeah, Jed never ran around with a wild bunch. He's a Farrell man. He always struck me as being a square shooter. Curly. Go and get Farrell. Tell him I want to talk to him. Sure, you didn't do it? Come on, Sally. Doc will do all he can for him. You haven't answered my question yet. Why should I shoot Farrell? We're running off your horses. That's utter nonsense. Not according to what Billy's man told me. You fired this gun recently. That's right. It's the man who shot Farrell. Can you prove it? Billy. Didn't shoot me. Take it easy, Tom. Dad, do as Doc says. The man that shot me was out there. Was he? Do you know? I could only see the flash of his gun. Tom, somebody's trying to get us to fight each other. That's right, son. Well, they won't get away with it. I'll help Sally build the road through the Badlands until you get back on your feet again. Thanks, Billy. Come on, fellas, give me a hand. Come on, boys. Take it, sir. We haven't made any effort to cover the tracks of the horses. It ain't the lack of opportunity. We've passed through plenty of rocky country. Don't understand it, Buzz. Me neither. Well, I reckon we might as well push on. Crossed here. You know, Fuzz, somehow I don't like the look of things. Uh, me neither. But they, they didn't all cross here. Some of them went that way. Let's go and see if we can pick up any signs of the other riders. How many men are in on this setup? Slim and Curly said there were seven or eight of them. Looks like some of them cut off here and headed up into the hills. Well, let's get out of here. Wait a minute. We might run right into a trap. Seven men laying an ambush for two is a kind of a waste of gun talent. Well, they might not be within a dozen miles of here, Fuzz. Then we might be covered by guns right now. That ain't so good. No, it isn't. What do we do? Well, we came here to get those horses. What do you think we're going to do? Oh, by grab, we'll get them. We 
You get past those rocks there, get your horse a running. Just in case. the other end. Once we get them underway, they'll head for their home range. I don't know. You don't know? Well, if you won't talk to me, you'll talk to the judge in Mesa City. You're in the Badlands, mister, and you'll never get out of here alive. We'll see about that. Get on your horse. He's liable to talk. We can get Carson before he gets Turner into town. That's right. Rocky Pass place to ambush him.
takes care of him, Turner. That's right, Red. Carson. You and Steve are wanted for horse stealing and murder. Throw those guns away. Now get down off those horses. having a little trouble. I'll take him on down to the sheriff. And then as soon as I get some men to help Fuzzy round up the herd, I'll be back. Come on, Red. What's happened? Carson got his horses back. Turner's dead. The Red's been thrown in jail. We sure got ourselves in a tight spot. Yes. Things didn't work out like I figured. Well, I did the best I could. I'm not blaming you any, Steve. We can't let Red go to trial. He'll talk to save his neck. Oh, I'll have him out of jail before that happens. If you can do that, Steve, we'll make it so hot for Carson, he'll wish he never was born. Well, I'm ready to go to work, Sally. Thanks, Billy, but I'm doubtful if there's anything you can do. Why not? The men refuse to work. They do? Where are they? Out in the wagon yard. By the way, how's your dad? Oh, he's fine, but Doc says it'll be months before he's up and around again. Well, we'll keep things going. You better stay in here, Sally. What's holding up the stage from leaving now? What's it to you? Quite a bit. From now till Farrell gets back on the job again, I'm running this outfit. Maybe you're ready to pay our wages. They do today? They've been due for over a month. Well, you'll get them. Now, Al, get this stage a rolling. You men, clean up this mess. Nothing doing until somebody shells out our pay. I said you'd get it. Now, either you men start to work, or I'll get some men in here that will. Nobody, us or any other men, will turn a wheel until we're paid. You heard what I said. <laughs> Set 
satisfied? No. But I've had enough. It was his idea. Well, now you get to work or get out. You mean it about paying those wages? I never meant anything more. Well, I'm willing to gamble. That's fine. Now, from now on, you handle this end. Get yourself a hostler that can fight, and you'll be paid fighting wages. Same thing goes all the way down the line. Now, get to work. Come on, Sally. He don't lose any time when he gets going. I know you had to say what you said to the men, Billy, but I'm afraid we can't pay them. Can't pay them? Why not? Well, we're running low on cash. Dad was arranging for a loan when he was shot. Well, I'll advance you all the money that you need until your dad's back on his feet again. Oh, I couldn't let you do that, Billy. Why? All right. I'll agree to it on one condition. What's that? That you take a mortgage on the franchise and equipment we have. <laughs> that won't be necessary. Well, probably not, but it's business. We'll go over to Higgins' office and have him draw up the papers right away. All right, if that's the way you want it, Sally. I'll clean up and then I'll meet you at his office, okay? Okay. I want you to draw up a chattel mortgage in Billy's favor on the stage line for money he's advancing in the next three months. How much are you advancing? Uh, just enough to keep the work going. Do you want to specify the amount that Carson is giving? No. Billy has to start paying bills today, so I'd appreciate it if you'd arrange the legal end right away. Well, you come in in about an hour. Everything will be ready. Thanks, Mr. Higgins. I'll bring the money in on my next run, Sally. Get away! Get away! Prisoner's escaped! Prisoner's escaped! That printer you brought in escaped. Steve Lacey hit me over the head and freed him. Hit you over the head? How long ago? Uh, Ten or fifteen minutes ago. Probably on the way to the Badlands by now. Well, I'm going after him. Try to catch him before they get there. Listen, I'd like to go with you, Sheriff, but i got a mail run to make. Good luck. Thanks. Come on, Sally. can going up that chattel mortgage to give Steve a chance to get to work. We've got to wreck both the stage line and the Pony Express. Carson's got to be stopped from bringing that money. Don't worry. Steve Lacey will stop it. I may be fouled. Tell all the boys to get ready. We're right. Bad land's just ahead. We can't go any farther.
Don't put your hands up. I want that stagecoach money you carry. We're on to you, Carson. We know every move you make. Where's the money? Right in those saddlebags. Hand it to me. Okay. money I was bringing in to keep the stage line going. Till Farrell could get back on the job again. Now, only three people besides myself knew about that. Sally, Higgins, and Stone. Well, you can count Sally out. That leaves Higgins and Stone. Isn't that right, Steve? I'll throw him in the who's gal. That won't do any good. Without proof to back up my claim, we'll never get a conviction. Wipe that smile off your mug before I knock it off. Oh, Billy. Turn Steve over to me. <laughs> I'll make him talk. I've got a better idea than that. Now, Fuzz, you go over and pick up Stone. Bring him over to the corral and... All right, Sheriff. Get around the side window and keep your gun on. Come on in here, Steve. Thank you. Now, you've got two guns on you. Do as I told you, you understand? I'll get going. What are you doing here, Steve? I told you not to come to this office. Well, I, I couldn't get back into Badlands, and I had to get rid of it. You run into trouble? I'll say you did. Now get your hands up, Higgins. Stone went out of town with the stage. There's ceremony for the epidemic that broke out over in Coatville. 
Fuzz, you take care of Higgins. Sheriff, round up all the men you can and follow me. We'll go right in the Badlands if we have to. All right, get your horses, men. We're riding. Steve have been arrested. Carson's on our heels with a posse. We'll have to fight them off. I'll take care of him.
got them all, Carson. That's fine. Uh, that's good, huh, Billy? Yeah. Get on that stage, but we're going over the coast coast. You take care of things here, Sheriff. Uh, If they don't get here pretty soon, that serum won't do us any good. Here it comes now. Have you got that serum? You betcha. Come on, run it. Mighty good. Don't you kind of hate to see the end of the Pony Express? I sure do, but it served its purpose. You know, things change, Sally. We've got to change with them. Do you think that'll ever happen to the Farrell and Carson stage line? Oh, I wouldn't be surprised. You know, with new territories opening up, and civilization moving westward, well, business is bound to develop. And we'll develop right with it. We'll be the biggest outfit west of the Rockies. You're forgetting the railroads. They won't be sitting around. You know, someday, Sally, they're going to have a railroad in every town and hamlet in the country. Eh, as soon as you were in your pretty head about that. It's a long time coming. In the meantime, we have a job to do. That's right. Where's Fuzzy? Outside, chewing my horse. He should be here any minute. You know, Sally, that's the first time I ever heard of a horse shooing a man. <laughs> oh, Billy. I never thought your horse would do that to me. Now, what are you talking about, Fuzzy? Horseshoes are lucky. They've always been lucky. That's right. Sure. Give me those. <laughs> this is good luck to our new company. Ha, 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 ha. 